God's peace be with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, let's talk about rankings. I mean, we love to rank things, don't we? I mean, I literally, just a few moments ago, I Googled rankings to see what would pop up. And you know what it did? College football rankings, NFL rankings, best universities, NCAA basketball, and the list went on. So many, I can't even count them. And it makes sense. I mean, when we want to buy a new car, we do research. We go to Car and Driver and we look at their rankings. The same is true if you need a new refrigerator or washer or dryer and lots of other things in our lives. We, we want to see which things are better than the others. We don't want to get involved with something that's faulty, something that's broken or is going to wear out quickly. I mean, it kind of seems like a waste of our time to purchase something if it isn't the absolute best model to get the job done. The Pharisees, they liked to rank things too. In fact, they liked to rank themselves. And the funny thing is, is they always seem to come out in that top spot. In Luke 7, we read about a time when Jesus had dinner with a Pharisee named Simon. And while they were eating, this sinful woman, that's how we read about her, came up and she washed Jesus' feet with her tears. And then she anointed them with expensive perfume. And Simon was like, so if Jesus was really a prophet, he would know that this woman is a sinner and he wouldn't let her do that. Basically, he thought Jesus should reject her because she was a sinner. I, <laughs> I am so glad that Jesus didn't take that approach with her. She was so broken by her sin that she wouldn't make it near the top of any list. In fact, if he shot for her like we shot for things, she wouldn't have even shown up in his Google search except for maybe on the most returnable things list. But he didn't. He looks through all the brokenness and sees the beautiful creation that he created her to be. He sees who she is in him. And guess what? It is the same for us. Brothers and sisters in Christ, don't think for a minute that your sin is any less than another person. We are all born sinful, and we are incapable of rescuing ourselves. No matter how we rank it, apart from the love of God for us in Christ Jesus, we all lose in the rankings. We're all on that most returnable list. But when we realize, like the woman in the Pharisee's house, just how broken we are and just how forgiven we are, then we are aware of just how loved we are by a God who would stop at nothing to bring us back to Him. And we're so grateful that we want to shout from the mountaintops, how great is our God. We are more broken by sin than we can ever know. And we are more loved by God than we can ever understand. Rejoice today that He has redeemed you. That He has rescued you from sin, death, and the power of the devil. Shout with your whole life the mercy and grace, the love of God so that others can know Him too. Brothers and sisters in Christ, get with your families, take some time, go through that devotional post, and live your life shouting the goodness and mercy of God. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Amen.